Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Jump Light Odyssey. It's, a, it's another episode, but it's a new run. If you watched the last episode, spoiler alert, we won the game. <laughs> or as it as it stands in its current uh, state. We, we finished Euphora's Odyssey. We got to the whatever counts as the Forever Star now. Um, so if you didn't see that, you should go check it out. But uh, we're gonna run. We're gonna run back a new run here, and this is after the Dangerous Galaxy update has gone live. So asteroids are back in it. There's uh, more information available to your to your captain C to manage your crew. Uh, away missions are better. All sorts of stuff. So we're gonna. There's only the U.S. Uh, uh, SDF flagship Catalina still. Um, it's interesting, I wonder what other kind of ships there are going to be. Like, could you flip it around and the you're the Zootopans fleeing from the whatever we are? Are we humans? I don't know what we are. Um, I don't know. We'll see. And Euphora is still the only captain. So, until to be determined when we can, when we can play with that. For now, um... We are gonna do. We're gonna try the basic life support fit out. Canonical must be like the ship is on fire, like the ship we bump, beat the game with. Empty sounds like a nightmare, and I, it would be it would make sense if you you had like a full stockpile, and then you could you could build the ship as you see fit or corridors only. Um, but we're gonna try basic life support. I kind of looked at that vid or uh, that layout in the video I posted earlier this week about the galaxy update, the dangerous galaxy update. We're gonna do standard crew size. We're gonna do the standard journey length. I'm kind of hoping as the game goes on, uh, we'll we'll just get more and more updates, so then we can we can take a look at those instead of having to have like a super long voyage or something <laughs> uh, but and then we're gonna do s starting stockpile as well so and then we'll just do classic i think if we have an easy time with it again with the asteroids being added back in and and uh just getting more comfortable with the game we might try a hectic run i mean we probably will definitely try a hectic run at some point whether we'll beat a hectic run that is a different story entirely, but I'm not 100% sold, especially with a new ship layout, that I'm like ready to roll on a on on hectic quite yet. I think that could go horribly wrong. In which case, it would it probably would be pretty funny, and I live to entertain. But we'll we'll start with the new layout here and see if we can't plot a good ship. Get back to the Forever Star. And then, uh, and then maybe we can start doing some hectic stuff while we wait for more updates to the game. All right, we are on the SDF Catalina. Where, where are we starting here? Let's take a look at our map. Looks like we are starting on a ringed giant. Oh, weird! Ring giants are ring giants just like random? No, it's always plastic water. Where do you get the plastic from? The planet's made out of plastic? <laughs> I wonder what the scientific ramifications of that are. A plastic planet. All right, so what, what we want to do is I think we want to plot a jump. I might skip beetle Beetlegoose over here, but I might do one, two, three, like that. That seems like optimal jumping, plus it gives us access to a lot of materials that we could use. But first of all, so first things first, when you ever get whenever you get to a star, always plot out your away missions. And you should really you want to start with the survey patrol. Just makes sense. Auto assign crew. I really wish they they wouldn't auto assign uh non non-on-duty people. Ooh, Ox is a great call sign, though. Although that's my... <laughs> that's my chief scientist, I just realized. Alright, send you three out. Out you go. Away mission underway. Crew, 
report to your assignment. So we're starting with the first away mission, and then you want to follow it up. What the, what the, if you don't know, what the survey operation does is it tells you exactly what the resources you're going after are. So you see how it says down here, when I, when I hover over it, it says requires survey. Once your survey mission is completed, that'll tell you exactly what are, what are the, the amount of resources available from each of this mission, these missions. When you send them out like this, they're just going out blind. The other thing that the survey operation does is it usually, not always, but usually unlocks a mission, a mission called salvage operation, and that gives you the opportunity to get a bunch of different resources across the whole ship, uh, or that you can use across the whole ship, I should say. But for now, why don't we start with survey operation and then just a basic resource extraction. Oops. Auto assign. Once again, a bunch of people are off duty. And I want to lean on my Marines here because they. Marines give you a plus 5% chance to succeed, and this one's only an 80% chance to succeed. So. You, uh. You're not guaranteed to come back with stuff. You're half health. Maybe we send a supplier as well. Alright. Looks good to me. Launch. Right, and they're taking twice as much time as last time. Because, uh... Of the ringed giant. The other thing that we could consider doing is building... A an automated shuttle right from the get-go. I, I, I started doing that in the preview video I had done. But... It uh, did not get completed before the episode was done. So one of the first things I think we should do is come up here and build a galley where the old galley is on the other ship. And part of that is, so we have a ton of produce. Produce isn't actually eaten. Produce is converted into meals, which are then eaten. If you don't have a galley, no produce gets converted and people will starve. So what do we have here? I've never looked at at what goes into the galley I realize I just realized this I've never ever looked at any of this stuff <laughs> um I just rode with whatever was in the ship and called it called it a day so let's see here we want to do I think we want to place the galley here I'm trying to trying to center this as best as I can so it's two away you're two away from the door. I think that's good. And then I want to put fridges in the middle. Here. Turbo washer grants cooking speed to suppliers in this room. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I realize I never looked at 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 the stuff that was available to to upgrade or or improve the galley i just kind of let it do its thing the entire run of our last run that's very funny oh interesting if you do the fast food kitchen meals here satisfy hunger and replenish morale but de deplete health so you're trading morale for health that's uh i don't know if i like that one this one's pretty solid. Meals cooked here satisfy hunger and replenish a small amount of health. Honestly, if I had known about it, that I probably would have pivoted to this over the course of the run. It takes a, this recipe counter, but honestly, that's not a lot of resources to have just like free healing every time they heat they eat. Um, I don't know why you... Uh, unless you're running out of food, I don't know why you would ever use emergency rations. So I think that's a good setup there. We also want to lay down some tables for people to eat at. We can't block the door here. So what? what is the best way... I think maybe like here. That way we're not blocking the emergency door. There's also just like a... <laughs> You seeing this uh, downspout in the corner here? We're draining the, the space rain away. Oops, whoops. 
Uh oh no, it's gonna drive me nuts. Ooh, we fixed it, thank goodness. Um, I don't think there's much else we... This one, the turbo dishwasher I'm really interested in, just increases the cooking speed. Why wouldn't you do that? It's, it's a little bit of a resource cost, and it does take water. Which we don't have it. Uh, that's that's going to be the second thing we build is is water generation, because we. Well, may, it might not be the second thing we build because we don't actually. We don't actually have a a water emergency for now, and we have the ability to build. Or uh, to go gather more water from like the the rings, planet right now. So you definitely want your power and your your uh, oxygen in here. Is there anything else we could do? I guess we could do plant. Like, put some plants in here. Maybe not... Maybe, like, right in the middle here. Like, one here. One there. Just for aesthetic purposes. And then we definitely want a, a soda machine to help people with their... Their... Staying hydrated. What else is in here? An assembly point? I've never used that before. Yeah, I like this. Let's start with this. It's almost all of our metals, a good chunk of our plastics, not a ton of our composite, thankfully. But this is a big room. Next is the med bay. And I remember, I put the med bay here in the last run. Is that enough space if we kept kept building it out? Or would it be better to put the med bay here? I also realized I never targeted anything for our jump light. Have we not been generating jump light this whole time? <laughs> Is there... Do we have a calibrator? Oh, thank God. You must have just arrived because... Uh... Oh, yep, we have one jump light. So we should definitely build another calibrator... We don't have enough composite. I just yeeted the composite for the other thing. So we'll we'll just make do with the calibrator we're currently using. That should be fine, I think. <laughs> um, let's see here, med bay. So I was having a discussion about where our med bay should be. This is not much bigger than this. It's a ten a a ten square space. This is a nine square space. But, like, do we need a whole 21 square space for med bay? I'm not sure we do. Because, honestly, I think our med bay in the last run was overly large. So maybe let's start here. If we need to, we could always combine these two rooms together by, um, like, sh shearing off the hallway, essentially. And then people could just walk around it. But I like setting it up here for now. Let's set up the Metagel. That's worthwhile. And then people are gonna are pretty wounded. So I think it makes sense to have like three. Yeah, and we don't actually have enough metal to uh, to build any more than that. And then uh, we would like a fridge, which I think we'll have just enough. We have 47. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and build the med bay. Oh, I forgot the power. I'm a moron. Oops. All right, we'll have to delete one of the med... The... the sh not the... I almost called it delete one of the med bays. We'll have to delete one of the beds of the med bay. There we go. Just enough resources to get the med bay and the cafeteria underway. Now, that may means water is paramount, but also manufacturing is going to be pretty critical. And I think that we want to set that up in this room once uh, once we have the available resources for that. Water is an interesting story because we have two water rooms, but no water generation. And the the room is laid out terribly. Like I'm looking at this and I'm like, what were you, <laughs> what were you thinking? 
Um, but what we can do is we can let the water boil down a little bit so we're, we don't have, uh, like, we just have spare storage. And then we can get rid of some of these water tanks. You don't need 1774 water storage in this game. I think I've made it to the end of the game with, like, around... It might have been like 900 water or like a thousand water or something like that. Um, so we could even just delete all six of these and still have more water storage than we did in the last run. Uh, and then turn this room into just a condenser room, which I probably will do. So spacecraft was successful. Not a surprise. Um, oh, something I should have shown you is I should have been ta paying attention when they were coming back. When the shuttle goes out, and is doing the survey operation. They, as soon as the survey operation is done, not when they land, you can get access to the benefits of a new shuttle. All right, or uh, uh, you can get the be benefits of knowing what that shuttle uh, has discovered. So we have the salvage opportunity, like I talked about here. We know exactly how much water we could get. We know exactly how much plastics we could get. And you could actually see this one like, these are functionally identical, right? This one is 19, uh, but this one gives you only 15. So, all things being the same, you would want to go after this one. So, these guys are coming back. And actually, we unluckily picked the worst plastics resource recovery. We picked the one that would only give you 10 if they were successful. Instead of one that would give you basically double. So, let's see here. You guys are probably pretty tired. Although... You seem okay, actually. Let's check your vital stats here real quick. A little tired, a little tired. Okay, we're actually going to swap. just send this crew straight back out. Um, So, resource extraction for 19. Get on out there, team. I believe in you guys. And gals. Alright, and we'll have just enough time to fire them back out into space and get them uh, trying to recover some, some stuff. We might be able to do the same with the other ship when it when it comes back. It's gonna be close, because we have about a little less than nine minutes to make another jump here. We've generated just nine jump light, which is not fantastic. But what I'd like to do is, when this ship gets back, send that one out immediately to try to get the salvage operation. But it'll be close. But we need to generate the requisite jump light anyway. Ah, I see what's happening here. So you took it, took the shift off. Eva's coming over to generate more jump light. I think we'll be okay. We've generated 9 out of 19. And something I noticed in my other playthrough is I, uh, this this never seems to... And maybe it's not supposed to, but it never seems to show you the progress for generating one jump light. Like, watch when Eva comes in here. See, they're working on it. And maybe this is supposed to be showing you a, a progress bar like it does with crop growing, but it's not. So, devs, if that's supposed to happen... Um, it's not, and if it isn't supposed to happen, I would really like that. <laughs> so, take that into consideration. But no, I, I've, I'm really excited about the stuff they added. The only thing I'm not excited about is they took the damn reverse knees away. The ostrich legs. I was very sad to read that. It was one of my favorite, just like, goofy bugs. I'm like, we could make this a feature. Why not? Our hope's a little low, which is not great. But let's check on the progress of our... Okay, they're landing. Actually, we'll wait a little bit. Ah, success. Good job. This is the other thing that I talked about in the preview video that I really, really liked, is that instead of the resources just sitting on your shuttle forever, they just get dumped off immediately, and then you can immediately turn around and send the shuttle right back out. Let's check on our people here. You're pretty tired, Alan. Or, uh, not tired, you're missing hope. Galena's also missing hope, too. Alright, they're off duty. Come here. Auto assign. Didn't change anything. So, I'm still... That still, to me, doesn't seem to be functioning as intended. We have 6 minutes and 31 seconds. 
It's gonna be... It's gonna be a close call. Oh, there's not even any metal out there. Hmm. In that case, I think we might want to hold off on sending our shuttle. It would it would be incredibly close, and instead I, I would rather, instead of waiting around for it, just jump to this next land and try to get some more metals, since we're, we're very low, I mean, almost out of metals, and we can't build our manufacturing space yet. Because you need a lot of metals for that. In fact, if we were to just plot this out, let's just kind of examine it while we're waiting for our shuttle and our jump light to generate. If we build this out, at 72 metal for the room alone. We and we could always limit that down, so um say we we just like stick to the corner over here. And then we got metal manufacturing. Would this would be like the bare minimum that we'd want to have in this room. Let's just have a metal cruncher. I might actually think about moving these two and then putting two metal crunchers right next to each other. Because I kind of thought that maybe... Um, maybe running two metal fabricators would be a really good idea in the ship. Maybe, like, not right away, but at least one. Plastics doesn't seem to be as big of a concern right now, so maybe you could limit the room to, like, this. So let's say, un uh, delete build plan. Build room. Yes, we understand the Zootopens are coming. So maybe you limit it to just a 3x3. Three and that's only 18 metals instead of the 72. And then we would plop down, we'd pop down our power and our oxygen here. And then you would throw your metal over here. Oh, you bastards. You really, that wall really takes up the one square you need, huh? Okay, so <laughs> then we would have to expand it a little. And honestly, you could get away w with it like this, for now. No, you can't. All right. Fine. We'll do it. We'll do it your way. Now you can put it down. Okay. We could probably get away with throwing away with that corner there if we really, really needed to. But this will take 48 and eight plastic. So the the eight plastic is nothing, but we need 48 metal. So metal is going to be a high priority. Uh, for us So we can at least get that met metal uh, fabricator up and running So you guys came back with 11 plastic in tow. That's good It's too bad that salvage mission didn't have any metal on it Otherwise, I would have really I probably would have sent it out honestly, but for now we'll just deal with it How's our away mission doing? They're over. Oh, they're already returning. Good job. So now we're just waiting on two more jump light, and we should be able to get that in the the next three minutes, assuming there's no shift change on us. <laughs> the inopportune shift change, it'll doom any any seasoned crew. It'd be funny if you could like just like yeet more plastic instead of using metal. You're like, why do I need to make this building out of metal? I could uh I could just make a plastic building. The crunching ore for metal probably seems pretty hard to do with a plastic cruncher. <laughs> uh, oh, they're back. And we've got the jump light. Perfect timing. Let's make sure they're in the hangar. Okay, they're on the ship. Good. Let's, let's get ready to bail. And they were successful. So more, more plastic in tow. Initiate. Jump, Jump away! Alright, so we'll be able to build up some speed, uh, uh not speed, we'll, we'll be able to build up some distance between us and the Zootopans. Water, water production hasn't really gone down much. Or water stores haven't gone down much, so I'm not super concerned about water just yet. Especially considering, like, any mission to bring back water would bring back more than we could take on anyway. So let's go down here. 
crew disembarking, dropped off all their plastic. Immediately send out this other shuttle. Auto assign crew. Nope, you're all off duty. The other thing that I wish you could do is like, if you could just like right click. If just swapping these people out was easier because the auto assigned crew doesn't seem to be really working as intended or at least what I thought was intended. Maybe it is working as intended. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm going to do the man, the whole manual swap over thing. The only person with a call sign, I think, is my officer, right? Oh, no, I have a couple people. You have Ironside, you have Rhino. Interesting. Uh, so, Aaron, you're on the shuttle already. Who's not off duty? <laughs> you're all on duty. Uh, Jan, you're up. And then Ari, you need to be, get swapped out so you're not off duty as well. I want to save the Marines that are in like good condition for, for the salvage mission, so let's send a double scientist crew. So survey mission it is. Away you go. The other thing we probably want to consider doing is starting to build uh, other shuttles. But we, we definitely need to get metal. So let's get these people off this ship. So we can uh, get ready to send you all out on a new mission as well. The shuttle's a little beat up. But I think they'll be fine. We're going to go ahead and rotate out the crew here. Raiden, you little look a little beat up there, man. You're all yellow. We're going to send Ipa. There we go. And Jeb. I remember Jeb from our previous ship. I am a fan of sending like a full marine squad on a on a ship. I think it's uh it can be helpful. And then Rami f to increase our our take. So view local missions that we're just going to be sending people out blind here, so Away you go. Away underway. All right. Other shuttles launching. Good, good. And we're not slowed this time, thankfully. So well, we should be able to actually do quite a few missions here, maybe even finish all of them, which would be really nice. There they go. Alright, good job, team. How's our medbay coming along? Medbay's up and running! Hello! So people should definitely uh, come here for Metagel. No restriction? We don't... We do want to restrict this to Metagel um, and Biomass. We don't want produce ending up in here. Lacking input resource. Aha! Hello, thank you for delivering. Perfect, and now people should show up and actually get healed here instead of being 21 wounded crew. I forgot to check to see if there is a functioning bathroom in here. There is. Okay. Actually, it's a bigger bathroom than, uh, than what's set up in the other ship. And then we have the ability to expand the bathroom if need be. I don't think I would... I think, if anything, I would put down the sauna in this corner and just call this room good. And then, I don't think I would touch the hot tub. The I, I built the hot tub in the, pre the previous playthrough, and I'm not sure if it was ever functioning as intended. The other thing that I would definitely do here is uh, start to expand this bedroom into one massive bedroom. I think that was really helpful last time. And in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Since we're hurting on resources, let's go ahead and just deconstruct the smallest bedroom. It'll it'll save us the power and the oxygen generator here. We want to keep the tree, but I'll just uh, I'll I'll plan for that later. So deconstruct this room. It actually pulls 23 metal back into the into the ecosystem. We're going to lose some when we expand the room out again, but I think for now that's good. We have a nice functioning galley here. And uh, we're gaining uh, healing the crew. I think we're doing pretty good here. So yeah, we're gonna we're definitely going to rebuild the, the super barracks that we had constructed previously. Put, place down some chess boards in here, some poker tables. It'll be a grand time. 
The quarter deck is a it's there's so much open space here. It's just like I don't know where to start. Maybe we should build a No, I like having the manufacturing downstairs. I think it makes sense. Is there a space for storage downstairs, though? Not really. Like, you could convert this water room to storage, but that's like all our water right now. Maybe in the manufacturing room, you'd, you'd want to, like, section off a small portion of it that's, uh... For cargo hold, honestly. Like, what, what do you put in the cargo hold? I know the big shelves are in there. Double storage rack. Although it's the exact same. It saves you some resources, though. It, this equals two, the storage of two normal storage racks, but it's 75% uh, of the metal. So I understand why you would do that. And then it's the same thing with refrigerators and the double fridge. Is if you have that much storage, you might as well be be building the double fridge. Alright. Alright, I'm I'm pretty pleased with how this is starting out. So I think we'll pause there. We'll we'll pick up Aha! Actually, before we pause, let's get this space shuttle in here. Survey operation was a success, so we're gonna immediately try to turn it around and send it out for Alright, you know what? We're not gonna prioritize the salvage opportunity. Not only is it a lower chance to succeed, but uh, it doesn't have any metal, which is like really what we're after. So we're gonna wait till this shuttle lands. Let's check on the crew. Are you guys all in pretty good shape? You're back already too? Holy crap. All right, extended episode here. We need to send our shuttles out immediately. Otherwise I will forget. <laughs> so this crew is actually doing okay. Let's send them out on this metal resource extraction. Away mission underway. They're on duty still anyway. And the shuttle, this shuttle is in pristine condition actually. This shuttle seems to be the same as it was when it got sent out last time, so no, no worries there. And they've dropped off a ton of material and metal, awesome. That means we can build our manufacturing room next episode. How are you guys doing? Let's check on you. Not great morale. You're doing okay too. I, you know what? It's it's more, it's a little dicey for uh, I think it's Ipa. Uh, no, Jeb's the one with the the bad uh, morale. Um, but I think it's worthwhile to just turn you guys right around and send you back out because it's a pretty it's a pretty low chance of success. So I'd prefer to have two at least two Marines, if not three. And you're right there, Kearney. You have a job to do. Gawking at spaceships. All right. You don't have a job to do. <laughs> All right. These guys are heading out. I think we're, we're set up for next episode. Next episode, we're definitely going to come down here and set up that, that small manufacturing room here uh, for for so we can start chewing through some of the... Um, so we can start chewing through some of the material we just have lying around here. And, and we can at, at least make some progress there. And then our med bay is up and running, so people are slowly getting healed. That's great. The next things we'll be building after manufacturing is is we'll start addressing the water generation situation. Because it is starting to slowly lower down. We can start um, burning through some of these these water tanks. So, if you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed the new the new start to a new run of Jump Light Odyssey after the major update, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Jump Light Odyssey or my other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it a, a great deal. So, until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!